Since Steve and I are moving, we have been trying to do like an absolutely major minimalist effort in this house. And by we, I mean me. We all know I have the most stuff. I have this mask on because I have horrible dust allergies. So I have been trying to just comb through my closet and really say like, do I want to trek this all the way to California? Because we're going down to one car. We're not using movers or anything. So Steve's parents are keeping the apartment that they own. This is their apartment. They own it. We rent from them. So we are leaving like all of our furniture, basically everything that we're not taking with us, we can leave or trash. So that's what we've been kind of working through. So some of the major furniture will stay so that they'll have like basic things to use and they don't have to like refurnish the apartment. But a lot of stuff is being trashed, decluttered and not going. So I am trying so, so, so hard because I know this is like the most difficult for me to minimize all of my stuff. My closet was absolutely full. So I'm gonna show you <laughs> what I've gotten it down to, what I'm going to sell. So let's go on this decluttering journey together. I'll show you how many bags I have already and how I'm really just trying so hard to try on things. If I don't love them, leave them. Tell myself I can always get something different in LA once I get there, you know? I mean, and I'm not saying like just buy, buy, buy to buy, but like go with the bare minimum that I know I can use or will use immediately. Have a few things for like specific special occasions just in case. And then anything else I find that I need when I'm out there, I can purchase when I'm out there. Okay, so let's do it. This is all of Steve's stuff. These are my two bags. This one's full and this one is on its way. These are all of the items that I think would sell okay or are worth selling. So I'm gonna list those on Instagram and on Mercari. And then as of right now, this, just this, is what's left in my closet and I have a few things in my drawers. So I feel like that's pretty good. And then this seventh circle of hell that I have to go through, which is just old scarves, bags, things that have just accumulated. So pray for me. Okay, I'm gonna put my mask back on and get to work because I don't know how long they'll be at the playground and I'm trying to be efficient. Hey. I'm doing my very last Mercari UPS post office run with all of this stuff. So this is all going to UPS. That down there is all going to the post office. And then Steve vacuumed out the car earlier. So we're gonna pack it all up tonight so that we can just get up in the morning, get dressed and get on our way. I think we're gonna take a more Northern route because it seems more scenic like the chicago nebraska colorado utah vegas la route i think i've been using all my time to pack everything up and get ready to go that i haven't really had the time to just be like planning the actual trip so all right i'm gonna go get this stuff done i am tired there's not enough coffee in the world it's also been emotional to like pack up our apartment i by no means am like super sad about it. i mean like we've made the best of the apartment we're really grateful to have lived there but it's definitely bittersweet to leave the apartment you know like so much has happened there i feel like brought babies home and um gone through like really difficult stuff like miscarriages and josie passing away and um so that's like you know, but also like really high highs. Bringing home our first baby, watching her turn one, turn two, all of the little growing up, like that's like her first place that we lived as a family. So like that's special to me for sure. But I'm excited for this new adventure. Should we go? Okay. <laughs> this is everything going in the car, plus Steve's canvas bag, my espresso machine and mixer, and maybe like a couple shoes, I don't know. So, me my overnight bag, stroller stuff, Daisy things, Daisy suitcase of her stuff, random safety deposit box, random Steve not coming, baby bag. Okay, wow, can we do it? Plus the stroller, am I forgetting anything? I guess we will find out. <sighs> really? Okay. Okay, it's dark and raining, but I'm going to try to show you the car.
Uh, okay, sounds good. I love you, Pasta Queen. So it's 8.45, we are calling it quits for the day. We're in somewhere called like Beaver Creek or Beaver Hill, Pennsylvania. Oh, you're going to California. stopped and what we did and what we saw um, so I'll let you know when I do that for sure and stay tuned for the next video which is gonna be a semi-empty apartment tour okay.